New York City Department of Education releasing the enrollment numbers for its high schools today. And they show that despite changing the admissions process for the city's elite high schools, there are still fewer black and Latino students getting accepted. Matt King takes a look at why it appears the shakeup did not get the desired results. Same story, um, you know, different day, different mayor. When NYU Metro Center Education, Justice, Research and Organizing Collaborative Director Matt Gonzalez saw the headline above the latest admissions demographics to the city's eight selective high schools, he felt no need to continue reading to see the exact numbers, which showed Latinx students accounted for nearly 26% of applicants, but less than 6% of acceptees. Black students, almost 21% of applicants, but a little more than 3% of those accepted. This is not a new problem. We've seen this trend for a while where um, things are pretty bad and not getting any better. Chalkbeat reporter Christina Vega reminds us the city's selective high schools. The Ivy League of New York City's public schools, they're very coveted, very prestigious. Rely on a single test to determine which of the 20,000 test takers gain entry to 4,000-ish selective high school spots. It's the only way to get in. And a state law keeps it that way. A person who is representing Poughkeepsie or Long Island should have zero um, decision-making power over the admissions policy of a New York City school. Well, advocates have lobbied state lawmakers to repeal the law and allow New York City to determine its own approach to selective high school admissions. Others have focused on why black and Latinx students appear to perform so disproportionately poorly on this test. A lot of this boils down to segregation, and we see that New York City is one of the most segregated school systems in the country. Segregation leads to concentrations of resources and opportunities, perhaps giving those black and Latinx middle schoolers weaker educational foundations, never mind the private test prep afforded to more privileged students, setting them up for failure in this city's multi-tiered public school system. Why isn't every high school specialized? Why doesn't every student get to be treated uh, as if they're, they're, you know, they're this, this amazing young person? I'm Matt King, Fox 5 News.